For our right turn at the roundabout, exactly the same again. As we approach, we carry out an observation in the right mirror. We then indicate right to inform people which way we intend to go. And this time, because we're moving away from the curve, we need a right mirror, or if there's a bigger movement needed, a right lifesaver to ensure it's safe to move into the middle of the right hand lane. The reason we're moving into the middle of the right hand lane is to ensure that as we approach the roundabout, no other vehicles can come into the same lane as us. So going into the middle of the lane is necessary for our safety on the approach. Again, slowing down on brakes and gears, ensure we bring the speed of the bike down while we approach. And then as we get closer to the roundabout, moving on to the rear brake only. If we need to go into the roundabout, we have to go straight across this position and then into the lane that we want. And that means crossing the first lane and then getting the, yourself into a good position to follow around in the roundabout. Remember, we are indicating right, and as we veer the bike round to the left, we may take a little awareness check on the left-hand side to ensure it's safe and the vehicles aren't too close to us. If they are, you can move closer towards the roundabout itself. On the way around the roundabout, we're still indicating right. There's no need to look to the left because when you're here, your forward vision should allow you to see what's happening in front. And as we come round this way, we then get to a point of no return. That means we can't physically go from here around to this junction. So at that point, we indicate left. We allow the indicator to flash so people know what to come off the roundabout. And then I'll take a lifesaver to the left because I'm moving lanes. And then I come straight across if it's safe and clear to do so as straight as we can into the new lane, cancel signal and then accelerate away once I'm in the new lane. If I did see a vehicle coming out of here trying to beat me or a vehicle was coming fast around the outside, that's the reason for the lifesaver. If there's a vehicle there then I'm going to cancel my indicator, put it back onto the right and then go around the roundabout and do the whole process again ensuring that it is safe to leave the roundabout from that side. A few things to note and a few things that we shouldn't do in the roundabout and we'll mark that by using a red pen. A dangerous thing to do in the roundabout would be to go from here and go straight across and straight line the roundabout. Again, if we was in this position, we wouldn't want to come too far over in case vehicles were overtaking. And again, the worst thing that could happen when you're here, you've had a look to the right and you decide to cut across into this lane, taking the shortest route to this position instead of the safest route. So the best thing to do is if you're not sure, stop behind the line to ensure that it's safe when you do commit yourself into the roundabout. If you're going straight on or left, always stay in the left hand lane and imagine there's a car next to you on the right hand side and that keeps you into the lane that you need to stay into for your safety. If you're turning right then ensure you go into the right hand lane and again imagine you've got a vehicle on the left hand side and that keeps you in your lane all the way around. So what you're basically doing is you are making the danger stay on one side or the other side while you're riding in the roundabout. At the roundabout, turn right, the third exit please. Mirror signal, into position, middle of the right hand lane, front brake, rear brake and gears, three car lengths away, rear brake only, have a look, make a decision, if it's clear, look forward and go and stay in the right hand lane in the roundabout. As you come round, indicate left, lifesaver left, straight off the roundabout into the new lane, cancel signal and accelerate away.